This is Miles Rutledge, also known as Lord Miles, famous for sneaking into some of the world's most dangerous places for fun and for refuse. We're gonna do a prayer because, to be honest, the most dangerous island of the world. But his fun would soon come to an end when he got captured by the Taliban because of some YouTube pranks. Three British men are being held in Taliban custody in Afghanistan, including so called danger tourist Miles Rutledge. Let's take a look back at Lord Miles's final hours of freedom. They, they cornered me after the takeover. On December 31st, 2021, Miles uploaded a video of him sneaking on a tropical beach. I'm on a tropical resort, but I didn't pay for it. It was all in good fun and everyone asked him to do more videos of him going to places he shouldn't be. From there, he chose to take on more entertaining yet challenging adventures. This video from January 19th, 2022 showed him crossing the border of the country and almost drowning in a river. And this one from February 5th, 2022, where he went to Chernobyl despite its radioactive threats. Let's go a little bit closer, just a little bit. But even though he already put himself in extremely dangerous situations and got plenty of warnings from his fans, Lord Miles chose to go even further. Hey, it's okay. not a water, come on! In a video dated July 26, 2022, he crossed the border between North Macedonia and Greece, burned an EU flag and mocked the immigrants who had been struggling to cross the borders. He trespassed. There are some immigrants that state they've been stuck in between the two countries for three years roughly, right? And I jumped the border in three or four days. So I'm kind of mocking off the immigrants and also the guards that do protect the border. After ignoring even more warnings and destroying private properties, he wanted to go even bigger. And he did. See, before even all of this, he already sneaked somewhere extremely dangerous. On August 14, 2021, he faked his documents and flew to Afghanistan just as the Taliban were beginning to take over. He bragged about his trip online and even called the country more peaceful than London. And since he didn't listen to those who wanted him gone from their homes, he decided to do the craziest thing he'd done yet. He went back one year later and in a video uploaded on August 19, 2022, he showed how he bought guns from the Taliban, befriended them and even called them his Talibros. In a video uploaded on August 31st, 2022, he bragged about how easy it was to fool them. I got questioned by the Taliban and I just talked my way out of it. And it was so satisfying to get away. They asked me, oh, are you British? Giving me this evil look. And I go, oh, no, 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 I'm Welsh. And they don't, they don't know where Wales is. And because his adventures with the Taliban became so popular online, Lord Miles published a book about his encounter with them on November 30th, 2022. He would encounter a few hiccups soon after. On February 10th, 2023, Instagram suspended his account, but it was restored later on the same day. And six days later, on Feb 16th, Lord Miles shared that his bank suspected him of money laundering and that he made another account to withdraw for his travels. On February 24th, 2023, he tweeted that he was traveling again. And on February 27th, 2023, he tweeted a few jokes before completely disappearing. And then a few days later it was confirmed by European diplomats that Lord Miles was captured by the Taliban because he was found doing suspicious activities in their territory. Yeah. Quiet. That same day, Lord Miles himself would try to upload a photo of him on his blog with the caption Yo guys, been taken by Afghan intelligence for taking like $1,000 out of Western Union. No internet, no idea when this will send. Everything is good, but please excuse my lack of communication. But it would only be uploaded on March 8th. 
2023. Until now though, nobody knows how Lord Miles is doing. In an interview, his mother said, Of course, I am very worried, but I don't know anything or what has happened to him. No one has been in contact with me. I just hope that he is safe and nothing happens to him. No one is sure if he's safe or even alive. The only thing we know is that he didn't get away from the Taliban this time. No matter what the future holds for him, I honestly hope he's okay. But at the same time, let Lord Miles' story be a reminder to everyone that risking our lives for clicks and views is never worth it. And that when people say you only live once, it doesn't necessarily need to mean that you have to take these huge risks to live to the fullest. You only live once may also mean to simply respect your life as it's too precious to risk it.